on October the 7th, we launch our new campaign, hashtag prosecute genocide. October 7th, a date that many now associate with tragedy. But should this be the only date that we remember? The truth is, for Gaza, October 7th was a continuation of an ongoing genocide, which started over 75 years ago. For example, on October 6th, Gaza was already under siege, with limited access to basic necessities like water and electricity. Hospitals were being overwhelmed and entire families were displaced from their homes due to years of systematic blockades and airstrikes. A month before this, on September the 17th, five Palestinians were killed and 25 were wounded in a targeted airstrike in Gaza city. This is not just about one day. Gaza has suffered blockade, indiscriminate bombings and restrictions that rob Palestinians of their dignity and lives for decades. Remember 2021? Over 250 Palestinians, including more than 60 children, were killed in an 11-day bombardment. Schools, hospitals, homes, all of them were destroyed. For Gaza, there's no single day to commemorate. If we truly want justice, we must remember that the genocide didn't begin on October the 7th. Yet, it is a reminder of our need to keep on advocating for the liberation of Palestine from violent occupation. On October the 7th, we will showcase our campaign message on a mobile ad van in and around London, which demanded the Metropolitan War Crimes Unit to open investigations and prosecute British nationals who traveled to Israel and committed war crimes. Join the movement, support our efforts to prosecute genocide by sending a letter to the Met Police Commissioner. Head over to humanaid.org slash prosecute hyphen genocide.